What I will elaborate on is how startups are prepared to pitch and based on an experience I did with FinTech Hive and Startup Bootcamp. They involved me in order to prepare the startups to pitch to their corporate partners. The model they follow is they, sh they have more than 450 applicants, they shortlist them down to 20. From those 20, I receive those and I prepare them. Those who are prepared are then pitched uh, to a corporate partner. Then that corporate par those corporate partner uh, panel uh, choose the 10 subset that they want to focus on over the cohorts of uh, four months in order to uh, progress with and, and potentially at the end of those four months to work closer with and to partner with them somehow. We brought uh, Eamon in to help with the, uh, the pre-selection day. Uh, I think the one thing that I realize is that uh, the companies come in really raw, uh, their pitch decks are you know, uh, a little bit challenged, uh, everybody's a little really nervous. Uh, what Eamon has done for us is he's basically brought in you know, some structure to them, helped them to organize themselves, organize their thoughts, really understand what their business, but most importantly, be able to present in a quick and timely uh, fashion. So I worked on a standard structure for uh, giving uniformity for all of the startups when they pitch the corporate partners. And then I explained to each startup what these sections are. And I worked with each in order to customize it a little bit more. That is where I get the most resistance from founders. I had given the, uh, I I had given the comment and you've chosen to keep it. I, I it's fine. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so let's, you, you know, uh, I'll work with you on the positioning of this. I don't want it to be any misunderstanding. They always have their pitch deck of, you know, 10, 20 slides. They've been using it for two years and they like it and say, Ayman, don't worry, I'm going to use this. I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there with this. And that's when I ha that's the most effort I have is to get them to psychologically accept to do the changes. And then I work with them to, to do that because if you don't customize to the audience in front of you, whether it's an investor or a corporate partner, and specifically to what they're looking for. You're wasting your time, you're wasting their time, and you're wasting the organizer's time, and everybody's involved in this in order to, uh, to, to get this done. This opening is for the merchants. You're trying to, with this, you're trying to sell on merchants. Yeah. The audience tomorrow is not merchants. Mm -hmm. They're the financial institutions. They are the banks that will process your transaction. Um, a, a key aspect missing is what do you want from the partners? Uh, and this applies for all of you, you know, what you want from the partners. That's, that's a very important part that, that, that is still missing. The work that I do is I help understand their business very well and I help them go through uh, the thought process and the positioning of this, uh, of how to do it and so on. So I go slide by slide, section by section. Are you a social impact company or are you in this to make money? I'm here to make money, yes. All right, so the opening, it was a very uh, social aspect. Okay. That's fine, but let's be clear, are we a social company or not? The problem I see here is uh, you told me when you were not pitching that you're a data company and you're giving them data analytics. The way this is positioned is you're, uh, you're a, a, a solution provider. You're like a technology for the slips and so on, as if you're going after merchants. And then uh, we do uh, runs, dry runs. So they do demos of it. From the beginning, yeah, we're going to repeat until you're ready. Who's laughing in the background? It's going to happen to you as well. So. <laughs> and there's usually a time factor. So the other component that, uh, that they struggle with is a time component. Time Your time is up. Time? Oh, yes. Sorry. There's the time aspect. So we're still far from the three minute part. It's usually two minutes and a half, three minutes, one minute sometimes, eight minutes. So it depends. It's usually a very short period of time. Just so you know, you lost a minute on that intro. A minute of your two and a half. You won't, you won't make it. This is one minute. You won't make it. And that's a extensive process that, 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 that we do, do together here. And that takes patience, it takes effort, it takes uh, brutal honesty from my side on what I think is working for them and what is not and what they should change. Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. So, good morning everyone. Uh, my name is Nurjan and this is my project called Maltes. Nobody cares. Repeat. I don't care if you're calling, nobody cares if you're Nurjan and... and then, yeah, just, no really. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, because I've seen certain pictures where they say, Hi, my name is Ayman, I'm the CEO, and this is the guy who's the CEO. The investor is like, well, whatever, what, how much money are you, are you going to ask for? What's your traction? And so on. So, and you're on two minutes and a half. So, okay, so we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna repeat and do this. A couple of things that applies to you and for everybody else. I'm seeing effects, you know, you're using effects in PowerPoint and so on. Um, are you familiar with the law called Murphy's Law? What Murphy says is, what can go wrong, will go wrong. So the clicker might not reach the appearance and so on, things like this. So unless it's real dramatic, you're free to keep it. 
but, uh, but unless you feel it's a real dramatic effect, let's not do this. So have it slide by slide, assume it's a PDF that, that you go through and so on, so that whatever happens uh, doesn't happen. So that's just something for you to keep in mind. I've been picky with you on the font, all right? And my team also always complained to me about this, and I know that you complained. If this is important, it cannot be the size. If you don't want them to see it, that's fine, if it's not important. But because I see this all the time with all, with all of you and what you've sent me and, and all of the startups I, I, I work with, they always assume they're going to send it by email. So by email, you're going to assume that the investor has, this, uh, has, has it on, on his or her nice big screen, or they're going to print it out and they're going to go through it and so on. Here, if you want the message, it has to be font size 32 and above. It takes acceptance from the founder to accept the feedback. I want you to be good tomorrow, right? So what I'm going to tell you, it's not for you, it's for everybody else here, all right? You started off weak. Yes. Yeah. Weak, I, I was like, okay, who are you? And then two, these are the people. Yes. So this is just, a, it's just a supporting part, uh, all right? So you standing here like this, back yeah, and a bit of here, uh, it, it takes openness for the organizers to make sure that the things are structured in a way that would make sense for their corporate partners. Uh, Eamon has done a really wonderful job. Uh, we've had some really great feedback from all the startups. Uh, and of course, all of the partners are, are really happy with, with the presentations that happen. And then, of course, there's the, uh, the real live demo in front of the investor or corporate partner that would lead to a potential interest, which would then lead to further discussions. So the demo day is not the objective. It's not the end of it all. Uh, it's a beginning of a discussion that usually takes anywhere from three to six months, depending on the complexity and the flexibility and the uh, eagerness of both parties.